morning students you all know that our body remains in working motion throughout the day our body needs energy work for whole the day where do we get energy from food human beings depend on other organism for food they known as our heterotrophic organism they need nutrition for day to day various activities now we start the topic digestive system in our body and next is what is digestive system the digestive system is used for breaking down food into nutrients which then pass into the circulatory system and are taken to where they are needed in the body next is there are four stages to food processing first is ingestion next digestion next absorption last is ejection first of all what is ingestion ingestion is a initial stage of taking food through the mouth taking in food next digestion breaking down the food into nutrients it is a breakdown of food into a smaller molecule next is absorption taking in nutrients by cells and last is ejection ejection is a removing any leftover waste there are no required in our body throughout the anus and next is what is chemical digestion there are different chemical digestion in our food like saliva present in salivary gland saliva start in chemical digestion in our mouth and second is stomach stomach secrete the gastric acid and enzymes and small intestine secrete the different enzymes and hormones now breaking down the food into simpler nutrients that can be used by the cell begins in the mouth when mixed food with saliva and next is what is mechanical digestion mechanical digestion is a involves physically breaking the food into smaller pieces mechanical digestion begins in the mouth as the food is chewed first mouth second esophagus next stomach next small intestine first mouth mouth present in teeth and tongue uh, teeth and tongue help the breakdown of food esophagus peristalsis stomach muscular churning actions of stomach small intestine bile they are secrete the bile juice when we start the process of reusing food into smaller molecules that can be absorbed into the body first digestive system consist of two major parts uh, first is major organs second is accessory organs now we discuss about the major organs major organs are mouth esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine and second accessory organs are liver gall bladder pancreas and it is a complete digestive system now we tell about the food processing first of all food enter into the mouth and mix with the salivary gland with the help of teeth and tongue slightly food goes in the stomach with the help of esophagus stomach uh, stomach is a part of uh, digestive system it is a 3 to 4 hours store food and digestion of the protein with the help of pepsin now food goes in the small intestine A small intestine is a organ of human body it is the largest organ and it is a complete digestion of food like carbohydrate protein fats then food goes to the large intestine large intestines are absorb some water and minerals then food enter in the rectum rectum is a last part of large intestine and then ejection of food through the anus then what is role of mouth in our human body the start of digestive system the mouth helps break down food in which helps the food to be digested in the body the mouth produces the saliva which breaks down the chemicals in the food a bit which helps makes a food mushy and easy to swallow then what is role of esophagus the esophagus is a long thin and muscular tube that connects the pharynx to to the stomach food and fluids are propelled through the esophagus into the stomach the 
esophageal sphincter normally prevented to the stomach in role of stomach a stomach is a muscular sac that lies between the esophagus and the small intestine in the upper abdomen the stomach releases acids and enzyme for the chemical breakdown of food it can be also expand to temporarily store food uh, it is important for churning food into the consistency that is easier to digest for the rest of the body system in what is role of small intestine the it is a absorb about 90% of the nutrients from the body the small intestine is called small because the diameter or the width of the tube is much less than the large intestine the small intestine is the location in the body where the majority of the nutrients from the ingested food are absorbed digested food passes through the wall of the intestine into the blood vessel which then distribute the nutrition first of all the liver and then through the rest of the body in large intestine large intestine is a little fatter and a little smaller than the small intestine performs the vital task of absorbing water and vitamins while converting digested food into waste feces as your body takes back water it just leave waste products behind these become drier and harder so it is easier for your body to get rid of them and then we start accessory organs accessory organs are release some chemicals first of liver the liver plays a role in the process of digestion through the production of bile bile travels through the bile ducts and it releases into the duodenum where it inflates large masses of fat and next pancreas pancreas is a part of the digestive system and produce important enzymes and hormones that help break down foods enzyme or digestive juices produced by the pancreas are secreted into the small intestine to further break down food after it has left the stomach has the endocrine function because it releases juice directly into the blood stream and it has an exocrine function because it releases juice into ducts next is gallbladder gall organ located in inferior and posterior to the liver hold by produce in the liver until it is needed for digesting fatty foods in the duodenum of the small intestine and last is anus the opening at the far end of the digestive tract through the this stool leaves the body acts like a gate that allow the waste to exit the body thank you